I feel like during these calls, I'm talking to myself just as much as I'm talking to you guys. You know, sometimes, you know, we, we get too caught up in the day to day that we let ourselves kind of just go with the flow. You know, you can still be productive. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm really productive normally. But I was reflecting yesterday and, I was, and I, I was like, man, when's the last time I wrote down my goals? You know, and it's, it's been a while. And that's why I'm doing this with you guys, because I feel like it's very, very effective when you have something in mind that you want to achieve and you write it down pen to paper. There's just something about putting your goals in front of you that makes you more serious about it for some reason. And uh, <clears throat> man, back in college, like if I reflect back on my life and I'm comparing myself to who I am right now and back when I was in college, I feel like mentally I've kind of digressed a little bit. And the reason why I say that is because back then I was like super disciplined. Like I would wake up at four in the morning and sprint up the hill next to my house just because I knew that it would help my fat loss. I would log everything I would eat, super disciplined. You know, I was the most fit I've ever been in my life. Like you guys could look through my Instagram, you'll see like eight pack almost. And uh, there's some things that I would do back then that I'm, I want to start doing now. And I want to help you guys understand that, you know, it starts with the mindset and it starts with setting goals. So one thing from that video that I took away is the quote, the future does not get better by hope. It gets better by plan. You guys understand what that means? It's not just about, you know, hoping or wishing or anything like that, like to achieve success, to achieve something worthwhile. Like we literally must plan it out and not only just plan, but then take the action necessary to achieve it. So first step number one would be to, you know, identify what it is that we want, right? Have a, have a goal, set it up, write it down, make it real. So when we're writing down goals, we could write it down and we, we could just like, I will be a billionaire, right? We could write that down or we could write down just, I will be a billionaire or whatever you want to do. But there's a more impactful way to write down goals. And I learned this from Bob Proctor. So I introduced Bob Proctor to you guys because, you know, he's all about the mindset. He's all about achieving, you know, stuff. But it's, he's like really knowledgeable on the subconscious. And if you guys know anything about the subconscious, you know that you want it to be on your side. The, the way you talk to yourself makes all the difference, actually. If, uh, if you're telling yourself that this is your reality, like I am physically fit, I am mentally disciplined. If you're telling yourself that your subconscious, which is different from your conscious mind, they don't, the subconscious does not know the difference between a lie and a truth. So if you're telling yourself the things that you want and you're actually believing that you're already there, this is kind of crazy, but for some reason, the universe starts aligning and manifesting it into your reality. If you keep telling yourself that you're driving the i8 that you're driving the lamborghini and you, even if it's not true your subconscious will start manifesting it it'll start figuring out you, you'll start identifying things that will put you in a position to get the thing that you want so i want you guys to think of that when you're writing down your goals okay so i don't know if you guys remember earlier this week but you've probably seen some of my team members on the chat they're like I am a successful tycoon and the reason why I had him do it is because one, it's good practice, <clears throat> two, the reason why it works is because they're putting it in the present tense, right? So from that first video I talked about, or I showed you guys, it talks about if you're serious about achieving something, you got to write it down. If you're serious, okay? And I know that there's some of us here that want things in our life and i would want you guys to achieve it too like if you guys achieve your goals i'm gonna be happy for you one thing about me is that i'm not a hater i'm an appreciator i'm gonna be so proud of you you know even if it means you're outshining me fuck it you know you're gonna motivate me to step my game up so we're gonna we're gonna take turns sharing right now because i do want to hear some of your guys's goals one because i'm curious two because if i could help you achieve your goals in any way i would like to do so and three, I think it's a great idea just to be open about it. I feel like the more the universe knows what you want, the more you're gonna start manifesting it. Check this out, guys. On your journey to achieving your goals, you might turn into, you know, like a maniac, 
You know, you might turn into a goal hungry machine. And my advice to you is like, embrace it. You know, don't shy away from it. If you start feeling yourself, you know, start thinking that you're better than everybody because you're, you're achieving goals, you know, embrace that dark side motivation. It's fine, you know, cool. It's a good, good thing to achieve goals and stuff like that. I encourage you guys, whenever you're feeling not motivated, whenever you're feeling like you're just going through the flow, through the motions, just take, take five minutes, sit down, write your goals down. Right. Some of you guys have really ambitious goals and I love that. And I'm just going to plant a seed and you guys do whatever you want with the seed. You know, remember what we talked about? You could water it, you could fertilize it, whatever.